Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video today. I would love to share with you how I will be uh, making some very simple uh, Valentine's Day inspired art, watercolor art, and then uh, making a card out of it. So I already have my card front here, uh, my card base, and the matching envelope. And this comes from my stash. This is one of the biggest goals that I have this year is to use my stash, including the stash that I have for my uh, paper crafting and card making days. And I have several packs of these uh, Michaels brand recollections. This is the smaller envelope and card pack. It has a set of 25 and it is uh, the card itself is the card base is four by five and a half. So I just cut down with my paper trimmer a piece of watercolor paper that's just a little bit smaller. Didn't even measure, I just kind of marked things off with a pencil, and that's it. Very simple. So let's go ahead and begin with the art. I'm going to be painting two lovebirds, and this will be landscape style. Put this over here. Let me make sure that you guys are on autofocus. I'll be using this for the adhesive. I have so many rolls of that stuff. I still have my ATG. <laughs> for those of you who still follow me from my paper crafting days, the ATG, do you guys still use yours? <laughs> I have mine upstairs somewhere. I didn't throw that away. All right, so no line watercoloring here, meaning no sketching. I'm going to try my best to also do some stamping. I have some cute stamps that I can always turn into, uh, you know, Valentine's Day art. All right, so let's go ahead and practice painting smaller because that's my issue is I don't know how to paint uh, in small size here so this is definitely going to be let's see how this works out okay so I'm going to grab a little bit of this color called ruby from white knights I'm going to blend that in with a little bit of the areolan don't even know if I'm saying that right I'm going for very light, very light colors. I'm usually very, very heavy handed. All right, let's go ahead and begin with the first birdie. I don't know why I'm holding this. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and begin with the first birdie. And this is going to be whimsical. I draw and paint these birds all the time so I'm not going for realism here at all I will need a second brush I didn't think yep I'm gonna need a second brush that's way too big thought I was prepared but obviously <laughs> all right and that's just to pull out the color because again I'm trying to keep it light hopefully it'll stay that way And we're just going to bring down the back side of the birdie all the way down here. This will be the wing. We can even come up here and begin to form that. I will be flipping my paper upside down in just a moment. So just bringing this out, keeping the inside of our birdie very light. All right, this is where I'm gonna to begin to turn to turn, <laughs> to turn, turn our little birdie upside down. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a bit nervous here, so I'm just going to be quiet and work things out. You can tell I'm chittery. <laughs> Don't know why I get that way, it's just me here, but I think it's because I really would like to make these videos watchable. <laughs> what a pretty color. I don't use <clears throat> my White Knights watercolors. Let me grab a drink of water, guys. Excuse me. Okay. All right. So this is a separate video. I didn't do anything else, but a little bit of time has passed by because as I was drinking the water, of course, the phone calls began to come through as usual, but I'm hoping I will be okay now. So let's go ahead and continue. 
what I wanted to do was I wanted to bring out the wing here just a little bit more because I'm using cotton watercolor paper it's gonna let me just let you know blend all of that together I'm not going for realism at all but I do want this wing to be just a little bit bigger and I can always add a bit more uh, darker color here and there I begin to Bring out that wing right there just a little bit. I'll work on this in just a moment. Let's go ahead and bring down, let's see, because this part has dried a bit. Yep, I'm going to have to just rework it just a bit. That's why I love this bail hung paper. Hope I'm saying that right too. I've heard people pronounce it the way I'm pronouncing it, and other people pronounce it Baohung. So I'm gonna have to find out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blend that right there. And let's use the side belly of the brush. And I'm going to just bring down that and then maybe we can even smooth it out remember not realism a bit more stylized but I'm okay with that and let's see uh, perfect see that's why I do like to kind of flip my flip my birds upside down because I always get um, you know I always get a nice little round plump bird <laughs> So I'm going to just darken this up, up here. That's my heater, by the way, if you hear that clack, 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 clack. All right, this is really fun. Do you guys see this right here? Wow, perfect, see, it was meant to be. I have a little heart for the wing. Couldn't get any better than that. Okay, so that's for our bird number one. Let's go ahead and give her her sweetheart. And I'm thinking maybe, let's see, I really do like this ruby color. Um, let's, yeah, let's bring it in a bit more. The ruby color, we'll do it, we'll blend it separately. And ruby is number 323. I don't know if I mentioned that. And let's go ahead and bring in some ultramarine deep. Number 521. And I'm not going to blend it all the way. I'm just going to, you know, leave it like that. Maybe even bring a bit more. I really like this color. <laughs> don't know why I don't use it more often. It's very light, very pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and begin to work in the other bird. I do want their beaks kind of uh, touching. I'm really fidgety, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And my watercolors, these White Knights watercolors, well, they've seen better days. So some of these colors are very kind of, uh, they have like pigment chunks in them. So, yeah. All right. Um, the beak will come out from here. So, yep, yeah, this should be good. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and begin to turn. Let me grab my card base and bring it over here while I have it. Let's begin to turn. Might seem a bit wonky at first, just just like the first one, but using that secondary brush to bring the color out always works, and I can see I 
can see how the ruby's coming in here too in the middle. Okay, so let's see, right here. Kind of looks like a weird shape there, but I'm going to work it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so again. Just bringing it out. And they can be different. It doesn't even have to be the same kind of bird. It could be different. The wing can be different. Somehow I always try to do the same thing twice, or at least like the same thing twice. I'm going to bring in a bit more of the ruby. And it never works out for me for some reason. And I, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be, but it is frustrating. This is looking pretty good. I usually don't do, you know, like pairs, so that's why I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> um, I usually just work on one, one of something, if that makes any sense. All right, I just, oh man, that was just effortless, less, effortless, less effort. That's right. I'm not even going to try to do it, but I will form his wing right here. And then I will bring out the underside right over here. Right there. And I'll reform the wing. There we go. All right, so I guess I have to work on spacing <laughs> because I notice it's more towards here than over there. But you know what? This is a uh, this is this is planned, but not perfectly, you know, planned. All right, let's go ahead and get a darker color really quickly for the beaks. I don't even know if the beaks are supposed to be, you know, darker color. I'm just gonna assume. And I'm just looking at my stuff here, my colors. I'll just bring in a bit of brown. And all right, I'm going to come right here. this is supposed to be whimsical and I'm saying that to myself because I want to make this look all perfect and rendered and that's not the point. <clears throat> the point is to do this and just do this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make the beak for her as well. nice wet onto wet with him and the beak area. I'll have to do this here very gently, very softly with her beak. Should have used this brush from the beginning. I'm going to grab a big, a big of that. Oh boy, boy, let me tell you, I am just a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a bit of that color for her and just 
gently bring some of that in. I think I'll just deal with this brush moving forward and use the Neptune for the blender. Looks like I have some of that purple color coming in, but that's okay. I don't want to ruin that heart, so I will leave that alone. You know what? That's actually very cute. That's actually very cute. All right, let's go ahead and play up on the heart. And let's see here. I still can't believe that happened. <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's make it pop out. Okay. And then I'll just darken that up just a bit. here and just like that and you know we can even bring in some more boy talk about perfect perfect like <laughs> that just could not be a more prettier more whimsical shaped heart and I'm just adding a little bit of shading underneath, like each of these little tail feathers, just to make them pop up. One of the biggest things I want to teach myself this year is to let go and walk away. I'm actually going to whip. When I see that something looks good, <clears throat> accept it and not want to make it better and enjoy it, just like I'm enjoying this right here. This makes me so happy. I'm going to admit I'm not too happy with him, but isn't that the case with us women and our men? <laughs> I'm single, so for me, I'm going to celebrate Galentine's, you know, and self-spoil at TJ Maxx. Hello. <laughs> I do it every year um, for the past five years, but, <laughs> but um, I'm just, I want to be able to practice that in my work this year. I am just so happy with her. Let's go ahead and just make that pop out a bit more. So my goal for these videos is to be now that I'm, you know, doing this and hopefully if you're watching, gosh, that is just amazing. <laughs> and this video proves it that I did not plan it that way. This is all strictly just, you know, it just happened. All right. So let's go ahead and finish him up. But yes, that's what I plan to do for these videos is um, just have fun. What I see is what I see and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to uh, work with it. And let's see, I need to, I didn't exactly form the wing right here too well, but I see the shading right here. So I'm going to, okay, one moment here. Okay, see right here? All right, perfect. There we go, see, just pops out. Usually I'm much more meticulous with the blending and if you're wondering what I mean when I say that, this is, it's like OCD on overdrive. <laughs> it really is with the paintbrush and it's some, it just does not work out for me all the time. It just needs to look really just a certain way and that's me it's it's just the way I am the way I'm wired I'm learning to accept it at 45 years young <laughs> but see this is what I wanted to do with you originally but this might be a little too much you know this is definitely uh, definitely a personal personal taste and um, this is more whimsical this is more fun so I'll stick with this right here okay so I see a little bit of another area right here so I'll just 
drop in. Oh, no, no. Ah. Okay, I'll work on that afterwards. Let's go ahead and find some tail feathers here. Let's close this up right here. The other goal I have for these videos is for them to be anywhere between, let's see, we are at 16. Okay, yeah, we're good. I would, I'm going to give myself time and those who want to watch will watch. I enjoy longer videos when, when I want to see longer videos. You know what I mean? So those who will, who want to watch will, will watch. Even if it's five minutes, the whole video. see that right there well he may not be as well put together as his home girl over here but he is still going to be very very good looking all right see this right here let's go ahead and play this up as well so these individual little shapes that come out that's another thing I want to enjoy in my watercolor if you see them, just, you know, let's go ahead and make another one right here. Dress him up a bit, considering she has her own special heart. Let's give his wing a bit more, well, a bit more. Okay, that's enough stylizing. Gosh. They do make quite the pair, don't they? <laughs> All right, so going back to the brown color. Just go ahead and make their little feet. And little legs here. I'm going to just have to work with one brush here. I feel like my clumsy hands are in the way. Gosh, I hope I was not out of focus this whole time. I just pressed that autofocus lock right now again. Okay, so. That's one. And you guys know me. I do like to do a little bit of shading. blend it out just a little bit we're not gonna go crazy and I see that as I, mean, I see that to myself I'm not going for realism here but I'm gonna do a little bit of something something there all right so that's her and he Basically the same thing. Okay, that's too dark. Okay, let's just bring that color up into his body and the same thing just just a little bit of blending all right let's draw some feet let's see I am awful absolutely awful at bird feet so please don't come for me <laughs> uh, This is the best I'm going to do. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Wow. 
Well, well, well. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. Some bullies. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I have the courage to post this video. If you're watching this, just please be kind. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give them some shading here. I'm going to just grab a bit of the brown. He just looks like he's raking. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's just bring a little bit of shading underneath. Give them something to stand on I want to upload this because this never happens that's why I want to upload it but we'll see I'm also going to bring in just a little bit of a hint of a blue sky around them just a hint I'm not going to go all crazy so just coming around here and then I'll get to the eyes so just very loose kind of going around I mixed in his color with some cobalt chrome turquoise. Just coming around, kind of pressing down, using whatever color I have on the brush, and spreading it around. You can always do this before too. Can do this before and then paint on top of because this color combination is so light. I do that a lot actually. And besides, these cards are supposed to be fun and whimsical and just, you know, I'm actually even going in between. There we go. So they're supposed to be playful, right? Putting the brakes putting the brakes on his love life. I don't think he meant to meet her, but there it is. All right, let's go ahead and give them their little eyes and a small little smile. Right. just going in really light at first and then I'll I'll darken things up I'm not used to working on a small piece of paper like this so that's why I feel so clumsy but this is good practice with my smaller brushes I consider a size four and number six to be fairly small I want to keep her eyes just a bit lighter than his So super cutesy. Oh, okay. I can see the possibilities here. All right. Do you see this right here? I do. I definitely will come in with some white in just a few moments and give them each a little highlight. so cute so cute oh my goodness gracious I almost feel like she could be just a little bit darker I was gonna say a wee bit darker that's because I've been watching some of my favorite adult coloring book artists and one of them happens to be from England so she's always saying a wee bit <laughs> right so let's go ahead and just darken the top up just because I did that for him. What a pretty color combination. That ruby color with that yellow color. There we go. I'm gonna make them pop. And I'm going to, oh gosh, she's so cute. I 
I know in real life the bird's beak kind of comes in to them, but I'm again I'm not going for realism. Yeah, I am definitely going to just darken up some bits here. Notice I'm leaving that heart completely alone because it deserves to be showcased. I am going to come back in here. And just make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, that is popped out. Well, mamas, you are looking very good. You stopped him dead in his tracks. <laughs> So this is it right here. Just went back for some darker bits here and yeah, this is a this is pretty cute. <laughs> Very playful, not too much into it. I probably would have taken I wouldn't have taken so much time had I not been so nervous, but as I go with along with these videos and do these things, I'll be able to have more confidence and uh, share with you guys some more okay so let's just get out some cheapy cheapy gouache this should be actually that's still kind of wet let me uh speed up the drying process with my heating tool and i'll be right back it's just it's really loud okay let's go ahead and fold over our card you can always take out a scoring tool and kind of reinforce that line, but I'm okay. I have to look for my bone folder. I do have those scoring tools that are meant for like doing the dots and things like that. So I do have that, but I do have a proper scoring tool. Very nice. Okay, so I might need to reinforce this after all, but that's okay. So <clears throat> to save time, I went ahead and added the adhesive to um, the card here, the card front. Wow, I haven't done a handmade card in a long, long time. Me, yeah, I might have to invest in a new one because I have not <clears throat> done this in a long time. And usually, the scoring tool is good for going kind of back and forth to settle your card front on top. And because this is 140 pound cold press cotton watercolor paper, it's going to um, wanna, yeah. But that's okay, this is just all for fun. I'm not too sure if I'll give these away to be honest. I might just give them to my kids. So we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and use some gouache to just add a little bit of a highlight. The gouache I'm using is surprisingly good. I don't even know how it's still going. It's from that Hobby Lobby's brand Master's Touch. It's the only color I kept from that, <laughs> from that set, because it's actually pretty decent. I feel like I can just jazz things up just a little bit more, just a little bit more. So just kind of humor me here for a moment. Just so things don't look so Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Yep. After this, I promise. <laughs> Usually I do a little bit of metallic, metallic accenting. What a useful brush this size four is. Okay. And 
just come in and soften that up. And by doing that while the paint, while the watercolor is still fresh, you're giving yourself a chance to have some shading opportunities underneath here and underneath here. Okay, so she's kind of looking towards us and he's looking at her and they're a little nervous. How absolutely adorable. Okay, okay, last thing, last thing. I did mention metallic. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit of this uh, Starry Night color. I already know what number it is. It is uh, 503. Let's just put a little bit right here in her heart. Just a little bit. Grab a bit of water and just gently spread that out. And maybe, let's see, where do we put his? Oh, we can put it right here. Well, maybe he'll just have some on the back here. There we go. A little bit of gold splatter. And then that is it, I promise. <laughs> I promise, let me uh, bring the towel in. Okay, let's go ahead and do some gentle tapping of color. I don't mind that a little bit got into their bodies here, their little wings and their chunky little bellies. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm actually really happy I saw this through. I'm so happy that um, I shared this with you. And if you just give me a moment, I will share with you how this looks like in the real natural um, light of day here because I do have my dining room light on and also my uh, three out lights here going. I'll be right back. Okay, I am so happy that I held on because the lighting is really just sometimes tricky. It makes me feel like it's just too, you know, too extra. And I know that there's, you know, a little bit of wonkiness going on here, but they are just absolutely perfect. And it looks like they're very happy that they met each other. And, you know, I'm really happy with how this came out. This is what my palette looks like here. So minimal supplies, and I will definitely be using that gouache again. Alrighty. Well, the first video is always the longest. Now I have to think about what I want to make for the next video. But he definitely is, <laughs> he's like, whoa, mama. But very, very pretty. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And you know what? I'll put this out there. If you want to exchange a Valentine's Day card with me, um, do let me know. I'd be more than happy to do a card swap with you as long as it's within the U.S. so it gets to you on time. Okay? Alrighty. Thank you for watching if you did. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Future Laura here. I wanted to be even bolder and bring in a little bit of uh, lettering, and I thought Tweet Hearts was a good idea. So... I don't know how well this will look. I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in. Yes, backwards, I know. It's just so the lighting doesn't get too bad here. This is just really quick last minute so a little bit of his color and a little bit of her color okay come back 
to his color. So yeah, I did that in pencil really quickly. And now, now that's, you know what? That definitely looks a lot better. I did do a mistake with the blob right there, so I'll fix that, but okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye guys.